Hey guys, it's ACM for short here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the games that I play and record them like I do um, off the computer for the Game Boy Advance games. Um, you can do this for Super Nintendo, but I don't. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, this is how to play and download Game Boy Advance games. Uh, so first things first, you're going to go on the internet, good old internet, and you're going to go to good old Google.com. Yeah. Now you're going to type in this box. All these links will be in there. Um, in the description, but you're going to type in Visual Boy Advance, and it's going to give you these three links. Now, I'm going to wait until so these freaking advertisements move, so I don't click one of them. You're going to click the second one. Like I said, it's going to be in the description below if you don't, if you can't catch what's happening right now. And, um, you're going to choose what type of computer you have. Now, I have a Windows, so that means I'm going to choose this one. So I click download, and it's going to take me to a new page. Your Visual Boy Advance download will, be, will start in 4, 3, 2, 1, and then down here in the bottom corner, um, it should pop up. There it is. Okay. So once you have that, we'll get into that in just a second. We're going to go to download.com. Pretty simple. I love this website. It has everything you ever need. We're going to come up here. I want to type in WinZip. Okay. Come on. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the one that you need for your computer, which obviously is the first one. So you're going to click download now. I already have it in my computer, guys, so I don't want to do it. Um, but I, I do have that. And um, once you get to that, pretty simple. Now we're going to do the last, the last, last, last thingy. Um, we're going to go to a website called emuparadise.org. Now, each uh, Game Boy, each game has the file itself. The file that's put on the game cartridge is called a ROM, R-O-M, which is right here. Um, so what this this Visual Boy Advance thing does, um, it allows you to open ROMs and play them. So, pretty handy. So you're gonna click over here on this on Emu Paradise. You're gonna go to ROMs and ISOs and stuff. And it's going to list you all these systems. Since we're doing Pokemon right now, I might as well just do this. Just for example, you go to Nintendo Game Boy Advance ROMs. And they're going to give you um, top rated ones. So Fire Red is right here. Fire Red doesn't save all the time. So, um, you know, Ruby I think has a problem as well. So I got Leaf Green, but um, you need to look around. Some have, they don't work. You just go to Google and look up a, uh, whatever, a Fire Red ROM. And it should work if you find it properly. And yeah. So last, lastly, actually, yeah, there's more. Um, we're going to go back to download.com. And you're going to get this thing called, let me click it, HyperCam2. All right. Now what HyperCam2 does is it allows you to... Uh, record your screen so it's not too good quality like the one that I have right now the one I have right now is Camtasia but um, you click download now and like I said I already have that on my computer and once you get all four of those things we're gonna do one thing together so okay let's go we have downloads once you installed that WinZip program that I said to download uh, the third thing I think it was you're gonna come over here to your Visual Boy Advance Oh, whoops. You're going to click, you're going to right click it, you're going to click extract here, okay? You can only do this if you have WinZip. So you click extract here, and it's going to pop, okay? Now this guy right here, this purple D uh, Game Boy Advance, is your uh, is your friend. So this is what you're going to do. I'm going to put him on my desktop just because that's what he does. Um, also, we have, uh, let's see if we have leaf green somewhere. Um. Oh, wait, I didn't download a ROM, but uh, here I have, let's see if I can find it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where it would be at. Um, okay, 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 desktop, extra, the games. Okay, see, here's Emerald, here's Leaf Green. All right, so now we're going to open up Emerald or whatever, um, but you gotta you got to click this. To, um, to open it up. Okay, so here's the program. Here's the program itself. File, open, 
and we're gonna go to uh, extra wherever you saved your ROM at and so here's Pokemon Emerald okay and there you go it's loud let me mute that okay so there we go okay cool there's Emerald and everything but now you want to know how to record it well that's what we got Hypercam 2 for. Once you click Hypercam 2, this window will pop up. All you got to do is um, click click this select window. And you just hold it right here. And it's going to select this square around the game itself. Then you just press F2 and start playing. New game. Cool. Okay. Cool. Starting my new game. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Woo. Cool. No. Okay. Cool. New game. All right. Let go. Alright, then once you're done, you just press F2 again, like that, X out your game, save your file, whatever. You go to AVI file, because this is where it's going to show you where it's at, and you open your output folder. It's titled 55, here's the file that we just recorded right now, and um, this is what we just did, remember? So, that's how I record my games, that's how I play. Um, I do actually own the real games themselves, um, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's pretty much all I can say. I, I really hope it was helpful. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Peace.